is Rajalakshmi Venkat Chaman and I am a 16 year old 12th grader from GTA Vidya Mandir Chennai. I have a question for all of you. All of you have your mobile phones, your tablets and your laptops, your TVs. But do you actually observe what's going on there? There's three things that you must remember when you're watching anything. Are you aware? Are you aware of what you're watching? Are you really mindful when you're watching something? Do you gain anything from watching it? Like knowledge, intellect, are you gaining pleasure? What What are you gaining when you're watching it? Next, do you actually like what you're watching? Let's keep those questions in mind. Because one day, I decided to think about what I was watching. These three questions I asked myself. And you know what I found out? I gained nothing. And I was not aware of what I was watching. I did not like what I was watching. So you may ask me, why do I care? Why do I have to care? all this fun and games, right? I come home from a long day of school, I watch some something on TV or my phone or I go to tuition. It's just fun and games, right? But then I realized it's less about what entertains me and more about what I'm missing out on. What am I missing out on that's happening in the world? Not only what's happening next door or you know the house house opposite from me. What's happening in the country that we've probably never even heard of? That piqued my interest. Then I realized the right creative input plus the right platform would give you a whole new world. And I knew that I have to bring that to people around me. If I got to, if I got to experience that, everybody else wants to. But how do I do that? And I thought to myself long and hard. I'm just one person. Not one person, one single entity can change how the whole world sees itself. That's what I realized. We must change the way we consume our information. How are we looking at the information rather than how we take it in? And that's when I thought of the culture network. What is the culture network? The culture network is a mediator. It takes the content from point A to point B, which is the creator to the consumer. From me to you. So before I start, I would like to explain to you what exactly content means in my context. Content means the information that I give you, that I turn into a specific form of media for a specific end audience. And this is based on two people, the consumer and the creator. Specifically, bridging the gap between the consumer and the creator. How do I get it properly from point A to point B? That's when I thought of this business. It all starts with the independent content creator who then brings their materials, their idea, or whatever they have to us, the culture network. We then process, package, and save the information for two different types of consumers. The ones on the digital platform and the ones on the direct platform. The ones on the digital platforms will go through videos, music, and short films. Let's say one of you want to know more about quantum physics, but you just don't know how to get yourself to understand it. Not only you, but your friends or your family. How do you get them to understand it? So you give us the material. We process, package it, and we put it to one of these platforms and sell it on the digital or direct platforms. <coughs> Next, how do you make a business plan? How do I survive? That's where the revenue streams come in. So when you talk about digital platforms, the obvious revenue stream is ad revenue. And then you have sponsorships and endorsements, which obviously carry on to the direct platforms with ticket sales, hospitality, food and beverage charges, consulting fees for events, and creative and technical fees. We have to believe that at the end of the day, the important thing is learning the information that you're getting and not just mindlessly absorbing it. And that's why we believe in bringing experiences closer to you rather than bringing information closer to you. Thank you.